Hello guys, today we are looking at integration by parts. We have the question, uh, the integral of x squared e to the power minus x. First of all, we have to write the formula for us to find uh, this kind of question. The formula, it is denoted by uh, the integral of u, u dx, it will be equals to uh, u v minus uh, the integral of v du. This is the formula we are going to be using when solving uh, this question which we have. So now let's get started for solution. First of all, we have to take uh, this question which we have here, x squared e to the power minus x. We have to integrate this by parts. So first of all, we have to let uh, let u be equals to first function, which we have x squared. When you differentiate this one with respect to du, with respect to, du, to x, it will be du equals to 2 times 1, which is 2x dx. Then for second function, which we have e to the power negative x, it is going to be dv equals e to the power minus x dx. Then when you integrate this one, you're going to have v equals negative 1. Here we have x the same as 1. So 1 times negative 1 times 1 here we are going to have minus e to the power minus e x then now let's get this formula which we have here as you can see which is uh, x squared e to the power minus x it will be equals to where there is u we have u equals uh, x squared and for v we have negative e to the power minus x. So that means here we are going to have minus because of this negative here. Where this u we have x squared e to the power minus x. Then minus because of this negative also here where this v we have minus e to the power minus x here so it will be positive. Then we write uh, the coefficient of x c the coefficient of x when you differentiate with respect to du, du we have 2x. The coefficient of x here it is 2. So 2 then so here we have uh, x e to the power minus x. This x it is a coefficient of x. Uh, coefficient of x it is 2. This is 2 which is outside here. So you can't uh, leave uh, this question in this kind. So that means we have to introduce another integration for us to eliminate this integral. So we have to get this and leave 2 which we have here. So here we have x e to the power minus x. So we have to do the same which we did at the first. Let uh, u to be equals to x. Then du it will be 1 dx. Du it will be 1 when you differentiate x. It will be 1 dx. Then dv it is equals to e to the power minus x dx. Then when we integrate this one, we are going to have minus, here it means that we have minus 1, minus 1 times 1, which is minus e to the power minus x. So, what we have to do, we have to take uh, this value which we have back to this formula also, in which uh, when you take uh, the integral of x e to the power minus x, it will be equals to where this u we have x v 
we have minus e e to the power minus e x so that means we are going to have minus e x e to the power minus e x then e, uh, plus uh, plus the integral of remember that uh, v it is minus minus e to the power minus x and du for du du we have one so that means we only get this one with so here we have minus e to the power minus e x so that means here we are going to have minus plus it will be affected so it will be equals to minus e x e to the power minus x minus e e minus to the power minus x this integral it is gone so here if you can see what is common it is e to the power minus x so you factorize e to the power minus x what is common it is minus e to the power x so when we factorize minus e to the power minus x into this one we are going to remain with e, x plus then when e, uh, minus e to the power minus x into minus e to the power minus x it is e, 1 so here now we have to check uh, this part which we have back to this because we ended here so uh, the integral of x squared e to the power minus x it will be equals to minus e x squared e to the power minus minus x then e. here we are going to have minus because of this negative here which we have it will be minus e two e this integral it is eliminated here 2 e the power minus x open x plus e, 1 plus e, c if you want here you can uh, expand this one here which we have so it will be minus x to the power 2 e to the power minus x so when you expand negative 2 e to the power minus x times x we are going to have minus 2 x e to the power minus x then e. also uh, negative 2 e to the power x multiplied by 1 we have we are going to have minus e 2 e to the power minus e x plus e c so if you can see here there is a term which is common which is e, negative e to the power x so if you factorize negative e to the power x here we are going to remain with e negative e into negative e to the power x to the power minus x we are going to remain with e x squared minus e to the power minus x into 2x into minus 2x e to the power minus x it will be plus because of this negative and negative it will be positive 2x then here negative 2 or negative e power to the power negative x into 2e to the power negative x it will be plus e because of this negative also the bracket then plus e, c so this is our answer for this question we have integrated by part thank you for watching see you next time and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new update